There's a growing memorial in front of the new Brighton home Janine Camerata lived in with her two children, a three-year-old boy and seven-year-old girl. And there's also a growing movement, hashtag justice for Janine, which appears to have been started by a woman who said she was one of Janine's closest friends. Jessica Pobiga also set up a GoFundMe page for funeral expenses and help for Janine's children. On that page, Jessica wrote, quote, everybody that knew Janine knew she had a heart bigger than her four foot 11 inch body and completely made of gold. We still um, having a heart, keeping um, her children in prayer and it's just a very sad situation and hopefully she can get justice very soon. Danielle Lewis, a nursing assistant from nearby Richmond University Medical Center, did not know Janine but wanted to contribute to this memorial. And she worries about the fate of the two children now in the custody of the city. A statement from the Administration for Children's Services, quote, our top priority is protecting the safety and well-being of all children in New York City. We are investigating the case with the NYPD. It's breaking everyone's heart, not just here in Staten Island, but everyone. We have two children with no parents. No parents. Sad. Very sad. And some of Janine's neighbors are just so angry at her estranged husband, Michael, and his six months pregnant girlfriend, Aisha Ejia, now both charged with second degree murder, tampering with evidence, and concealing a human corpse after the beloved PS29 teacher's badly burned body was found at a Staten Island storage facility. Possible motive was that he didn't want to pay child support and alimony. So now, and if convicted, you, he'll be in prison for the rest right. of his life. Why do you think like that? Now, the GoFundMe page has already surpassed its $10,000 goal in less than 24 hours. We are live in the New Brighton section of Staten Island. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News.